Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today is our last day in uh, Sweden, and uh, today I'm gonna obviously share you the video from Stockholm to Liverpool, all the traveling and uh, flight review. But this particular video is gonna be about this beautiful property which we stayed in, uh, the Lindsberg. It has got a Sweden name, I'll put the full name and address and everything in the description below. But uh, this is the beautiful building we're gonna show you around, and uh, we had the privileges to stay in this beautiful property so this tiny road will lead you to this property and behind me this is the right turn you need to take there is a sign which says p parking and off the, uh, uh, if you if you put the correct address in the sat nav that will without any wrong turn that will guide you to the here and uh, there is a, a parking two three cars can easily be parked there <music> This property basically reflects uh, the true authenticity nature of uh, Sweden. This property is located in a countryside area, uh, countryside area a little outskirts in Falun, and it's surrounded by not massive forest but significant amount of forest. And uh, this particular building is 117 years old, and uh, being here you can't get any closer to the nature. I think I've mentioned it already that you can't get closer to nature than this. The oak tree you see behind me, this is 500 years old. You know, 500 years old. God knows how many generations have gone past and how many generations this beautiful tree has seen. It doesn't matter which part of the year you come to visit the property. If it's winter, you will see the real Swedish snowfalls and uh, uh, freezing cold temperature but if you come in summer uh, this is the garden and that garden will be at full bloom in summer they do their uh, organic gardening here they pretty much grow if not everything but majority of their fruit and vegetables here in this garden in a, a really organic and sustainable way and uh, obviously other part of the gardens will be presenting a really nice view in summer as well so this is not just uh, uh, a holiday spot everybody can come and stay here and they offer a lot of courses as well and those courses are primarily related to environmental protection and uh, sustainability so if you are interested in those type of topics uh, you know the organizer the board of this building they offer these courses as well to uh, kind of educate you to make you aware of so many things you can do to preserve nature uh, do a sustainable uh, adopt a sustainable lifestyle so if you are interested into these things they offer those courses as well so now we are in the building this is the main door you enter from and you enter in this uh, little uh, kind of hallway this is not a proper hallway but that's where you clean your shoes and everything and then with opening this door you are in this beautiful hallway obviously this uh, is authentic design, I would say, uh, how the properties and hallways used to be back in the days. And they have tried to preserve it the, uh, true to the nature, true to the uh, authenticity, originality of the property. And uh, you can see it's very authentic, beautiful and cozy, to be honest. So when you are in this hallway, you will see there is a, a line, a message on the uh, floor which says no shoes beyond that point. So what you need to do when you enter in the building on your right side, this is a, a cloak room if you want to call it. Uh, you will change your shoes. You will leave your shoes here, which you are wearing outside. And uh, there are lots of uh, slippers available, which you can switch into. But uh, if you choose, you can bring your own shoes, obviously inside shoes, you can change them here. So on the right side, towards the end of this hallway, there's uh, uh, this room. And uh, this is called clock solen. Uh, why? So basically there used to be lots of clocks in here, but uh, now if you see, it's a very beautiful, very cozy, 
living room space you can call it this massive windows which presents the view of uh, uh, the side garden i think it's not the back garden there is a piano as well if you want to show your skills so now let me show you one of the guest room this is a double room it has uh, windows on two sides double bed obviously there is a, a study table in the corner and uh, you can see authenticity originality the way it was 117 years ago very beautiful now let me show you another beautiful room of this property this is uh, also for two people but uh, it doesn't have a double bed it has uh, one bed here and uh, behind me if you can see there is a loft area and there is one bed there so if you want originality authenticity but uh, you want to enjoy that kind of uniqueness as well then you should opt in for this bedroom it's also very beautiful so this is the third bedroom i would like to show you this is a family bedroom so if you are coming here with a family you all can fit in this room one double bed here one single in this corner and one single in this corner there is a kind of study table there and a beautiful view from the back garden stunning very very original and authentic so this beautiful part of the house is uh, basically a collective dining area and a living space as well uh, for, for the guests obviously and uh, behind me you can see there are three massive windows which present the view to the very very beautiful garden of uh, this property and uh, there is very very authentic and uh, unique fireplace when obviously there are parties and guests uh, they get the fire going and if you are lucky to visit this property in winter you will witness the snowfall while you will have a very cozy and warm fire going so this part of the property is basically uh, the main entrance which used to be uh, it's still usable but uh, they don't use it so behind me you can see this is the main entrance and uh, this was uh, the staircase it still is obviously since they don't use this entrance that's why guests don't come in from this door they come from that door and the acoustic in this part of the building you can feel you know the echoing i'm saying something and i'm listening the same sound back beautiful so from this beautiful part of the property we enter here this is a, a cinema you know, I, I must say this is a, a modern part of the property because back in the days when this property was originally built cinema wasn't a thing but now it is when guests come in and uh, probably if they wanna you know have that kind of uh, feeling get together watch something together that's the place they will enjoy it this property is so big uh, I'm not sure how much of it I can show you uh, this part of the property is basically a conference room because a lot of group of people, companies and the corporate clients come here who need to do their work on conferences. So this is where it can be held. Obviously you can see it's not arranged because uh, th th there is no conference going on at the moment or um, uh, today or tomorrow. So that's why you see all these uh, furniture, uh, you know, not properly arranged. But uh, when there's an event, it uh, is properly arranged and it uh, gives you a very good environment to discuss your all corporate matters with three massive windows which gives you a view uh, I think on the front garden beautiful so this is uh, another room this is basically for a small group of people who would like to stay in one room there are uh, I think one two three four five six bunk beds and uh, if, if, if there is a small group of people who would like to stay in one room because it happened when a group of friends come, uh, they want to stay together, they want to chit chat, they want to talk until uh, they uh, you know, literally uh, fall asleep, that's where uh, they can stay. There is one massive window which looks into front garden. want to do 
a lot of reading while you are being closer to nature. They have a designated library here. They have uh, a good collection of books, but it depends on your taste. If uh, you've got a certain taste, you may want to bring your own books, but uh, they have such a nice and cozy environment. Very quiet, peaceful, and obviously windows to windows for you to keep an eye on the nature as well. Guys, I can't, I can't explain you how excited I am. One after another when I switch from one room to another, the every room surprised me. Now this particular room is uh, meant to be for 10 people. There are uh, 10 bunk beds. So fairly large group of people if they wanna stay in one room, that's where they need to be. In the middle of the room, there is uh, this big table, probably, you can use it for dining if you want to, uh, for studying. Uh, there is a very nice cozy sofa, two large windows. Mm -hmm.